Let's track the fuel through this carburettor. When pressure from the pulse line pumps this part of the diaphragm, that brings down fuel through this pipe and from underneath this valve flap. There. It then spills over into this hole here. That's this hole. And then it comes out into this reservoir. And when the diaphragm goes down, it pushes the fuel out this way. It can't come back this way because if it did, it would be stopped by this one way valve flap. So it continues this way and up through this hole, which is underneath this valve flap, and then goes down this hole. And then the fuel comes out and down past the strainer filter. It goes down a special tube to the bottom of the needle valve. So the fuel has come to the bottom of this needle valve. Metering diaphragm pushes down on the back of the metering lever. And so when the diaphragm pushes the back of the lever down, it allows fuel up and it floods all of this area. The fuel then travels through this hole here, this hole and this hole which all contribute to the main jet.